Have you ever thought about what it would feel like to lose everything in a matter of hours? Hurricane Helene, one of the most powerful storms in recent history, left more than 230 people dead and caused over $200 billion in damages. Entire neighborhoods were submerged, homes ripped apart, and communities left devastated. Today, we'll dive deep into the top 10 most destructive impacts of Hurricane Helene, each more shocking than the last. Stay with me until the end, because the final location faced such catastrophic destruction that recovery may take decades. And before we get started, make sure to subscribe to stay informed about the world's most dangerous natural disasters. Your knowledge could save lives. Number 1. Florida's Big Bend Region When Hurricane Helene made landfall in Florida's Big Bend Region, the area experienced one of the most devastating natural disasters in its history. The storm's 140-mile-per-hour winds wreaked havoc across the region, but the real terror came from the storm surge. Massive waves, reaching as high as 15 feet, swallowed entire neighborhoods. Families had just moments to flee before their homes were completely underwater. Roads were washed away, making it impossible for emergency responders to reach those stranded in their homes. Hospitals were overwhelmed as people sought shelter and medical care. The sheer force of the storm knocked down power lines, leaving millions in the dark, some for more than a week. In a region already known for its vulnerability to flooding, Helene pushed the limits of disaster response. Entire towns faced months of recovery, and many homes still remain in ruins, with rebuilding efforts moving at a snail's pace. Imagine living without power for days on end, in the middle of a disaster zone, this was the grim reality for thousands in the Big Bend. Number 2. Georgia's Inland Flooding Georgia wasn't spared from Hurricane Helene's wrath. Though the storm had weakened by the time it reached inland Georgia, it brought with it heavy rains that resulted in some of the worst flooding the state has seen in decades. Rivers overflowed, and creeks that were normally calm turned into raging torrents wiping out homes, farms, and businesses. The rural parts of Georgia were especially vulnerable. Entire farms were destroyed. Cornfields and cotton crops, essential to Georgia's agricultural economy, were completely wiped out. The damage was catastrophic for farmers, many of whom lost entire harvests. Livestock farms were also hit hard, with barns collapsing and animals swept away by the flooding. Beyond the economic toll, communities were left cut off from help as roads and bridges were washed out. Emergency services worked tirelessly to rescue people from their homes, but for many, it was too late to save their properties. The cost of the flooding in Georgia is expected to rise into the billions, and experts estimate that it could take years for the state's agriculture to recover. Number 3. South Carolina's Coastal Erosion South Carolina's picturesque coastlines were forever changed by Hurricane Helene. The storm surge didn't just flood homes, it reshaped the entire coastline. Waves as high as 12 feet eroded beaches, pulled away sand dunes, and destroyed vital ecosystems. Beachfront properties that had stood for years were completely leveled, leaving homeowners with nothing but memories of what once was. Coastal tourism, a lifeblood for South Carolina's economy, took a major hit. Businesses that depend on tourists, from beachfront hotels to local shops, faced catastrophic losses. Many have had to close their doors indefinitely, unable to afford the cost of rebuilding. The damage was so extensive that environmental experts believe some areas may never fully recover. The erosion has also raised concerns about future storms. Each one will now have an easier time reaching further inland, making future hurricanes even more dangerous for South Carolina. Efforts to restore the beaches are underway, but the process is slow and expensive. Number 4. North Carolina's Outer Banks The Outer Banks of North Carolina, known for their scenic beauty and unique ecosystems, were hit hard by Hurricane Helene. The storm brought torrential rainfall, and the resulting storm surges caused massive flooding. Entire neighborhoods were submerged, leaving homes and businesses uninhabitable. The fishing industry, a key part of the local economy, suffered severe damage as boats were destroyed and fishing equipment was lost. But the human cost of the storm was just as devastating. Many families had to be evacuated from their homes, not knowing if they would have anything to return to. 
The recovery effort has been long and difficult, with some families still displaced months after the storm. But the environmental toll was also significant. Local wildlife, including endangered species that depend on the coastal habitats, was greatly affected. Wetlands were flooded, and critical nesting grounds for birds were destroyed. The Outer Banks, a fragile and unique environment, may take years to fully recover, both economically and ecologically. Number 5. Virginia's Rainfall and Flooding Although Virginia wasn't in the direct path of Hurricane Helene, the state experienced widespread flooding due to the heavy rainfall that the storm brought with it. Rivers and streams overflowed, flooding homes and damaging infrastructure across the state. Rural communities were hit particularly hard, with many cut off from the outside world as roads became impassable. Some areas even experienced landslides, which added to the destruction. Power outages were widespread, leaving thousands without electricity for days. The recovery process has been slow, and many parts of the state are still working to repair the damage months after the storm passed. Number 6. Alabama's Inland Flooding Inland flooding caused by Hurricane Helene also had devastating effects on Alabama. Rivers quickly overflowed, inundating rural communities and cutting off entire towns from essential services. Homes were washed away, leaving families stranded and in need of rescue. The flooding also wreaked havoc on Alabama's infrastructure, with roads and bridges severely damaged or completely destroyed. Public services were overwhelmed, and the recovery process has been slow, especially for those living in remote areas. It could be months before these communities are able to return to any sense of normalcy. Number 7. The Gulf of Mexico's Oil Industry Hurricane Helene didn't just cause damage on land, it also had a major impact on the Gulf of Mexico's oil industry. As the storm approached, offshore oil rigs were forced to shut down, and many were damaged beyond repair. This caused a significant disruption to oil production, leading to a temporary spike in oil prices across the U.S. It will likely take months to repair the damaged rigs and restore production to pre-storm levels. The storm has raised serious concerns about the vulnerability of the oil industry to future storms, and many are calling for better protections to prevent similar disruptions in the future. Number 8. Puerto Rico's Infrastructure Puerto Rico, still reeling from the effects of previous hurricanes, was hit once again by Hurricane Helene. While the island was spared from a direct hit, the heavy rain and flooding that followed severely impacted its already fragile infrastructure. Entire communities were left without power or clean water, and many roads were completely washed away. Relief efforts were slow to reach the hardest hit areas, leaving many people stranded for days. Puerto Rico's economy, already struggling to recover from past disasters, has been dealt yet another blow by this storm, and the road to recovery will be long and difficult. Number 9. Florida Keys The Florida Keys were not in the eye of Hurricane Helene, but they did get some strong winds and rough waves. Strong winds and rough waves overwhelmed the drains on Roosevelt Boulevard on Thursday morning, as all of South Florida was under a tropical storm warning. The tourism industry, which is the backbone of the Keys economy, was negatively impacted because of the flight cancellations and hotel booking cancellations. Number 10. Climate Change's Impact on Hurricane Helene One of the most alarming aspects of Hurricane Helene is the role that climate change played in making the storm so destructive. Scientists have found that the waters in the Gulf of Mexico, where Helene gained its strength, were unusually warm. This gave the storm more energy, making it stronger and deadlier than it might have been otherwise. Experts estimate that the storm had 10% more rainfall and winds that were stronger due to the warming waters. As our planet continues to warm, storms like Helene are expected to become more frequent and more powerful, leading to even greater destruction in the future. Hurricane Helene has shown us just how devastating natural disasters can be, and it's a reminder that we need to stay informed and prepared as storms become stronger and more frequent. Subscribe to our channel for the latest updates on natural disasters and tips on how to protect yourself and your loved ones. Staying informed is the best way to stay safe, so hit that subscribe button before you go, and be ready for whatever comes next.